Hey guys, so I'm here to show you these lads here today and they're the sleek paint pouts that have been out for a few weeks now. You know, they were kind of really prolific all over the internet there for the first week or so of their release. So obviously these, uh, firstly you can get them on the sleek website or you can get them in Superdrug in the UK. I think they come in like 11 different shades, but the colours I got going from, you know, white over to the blue. So it's 153 Cloud 9 is the white. 156 Peachy Keen is this Carl, 157 Pinup is the red, and then 163 Peak of Blue is the blue. So that's them. And I put them on the back of my hand already so you can see how they come out now. I literally just put a tiny little drop um, of each on and just ran them down, and they're so opaque, they go on so so thick. So my first impressions, well not even first impressions because I've been kind of playing around with them for a couple of weeks now, but they're definitely worth the hype. I personally had never tried the OCC lip tars, um, so I'm not sure how they you know, relate to those. I've heard people saying they're very, very similar. Now, the only thing I could compare them to would be say the MAC lip mixes. So they are much more, um, the lip mixes of MAC, they're a bit more of a gel consistency. That's mainly the main difference. I personally prefer the consistency of these because they're more like an actual paint, they're more like um, a cream. So those can obviously be worn by themselves um, as they are, but the whole idea of these is to mix them up. So the reason these are handier to mix up than say buying like lipsticks or using lipstick from a palette is that you don't have to like scoop anything out. Like with a normal lipstick you'd have to break some off, put it onto a palette or scoop it out of the palette, um, you know, mix them up, whatever. Whereas these you literally just put a drop of each together. So I'm going to mix a little bit of the red and the coral together now just to make something that'll match roughly my and nail varnish and this is like a Barry M nail varnish. I'll tell you exactly what it is now because loads of people were asking in the last video. It's um Carl 296. That guy there. To mix the colours, literally just put some on the back of your hand or on a palette or whatever suits you best. Less is more, you need so little of this product for it to work. And for the first few times of my use my using it, I did use too much and it's really easily done. So try not to use too much. How I tend to use them is to put them onto my lips without a lip liner because I don't want to change the colour underneath and these do paint on beautifully, you can get a perfect crisp line with them. I tend to use a primer underneath, so I just use my MAC Prep and Prime one first, um, mainly because it does bleed after a few hours of wear, so that's one thing to be aware of. So I'm just mixing up on the back of my hand. So you can use a palette if you want, just use your lip brush to mix the two together. Um, and then once you get a colour that you're looking for, you can mix more than two together, you can mix three or four, just really think of them as paints. That would be similar enough. Once you have the colour mixed and there's enough on your brush, um, that would probably be enough to do my whole lip, by the way. So there's a gorgeous coral lip, um, like I said they go on so opaque so you don't need to really worry about layering it on, the first layer tends to do it for you. That was the red and the peachy keen um, put together. So you can obviously make so many different colours out of like the few that you have, that I have four but I could make tons and tons of colours out of it um, and it's kind of fun to do as well. One thing that's really class about these is they smell just delicious and I'm not sure I'm not sure what I'd say the smell is. It's kind of like fruity, like tropical or something. They're just gorgeous, like really really smell amazing. You know there's no weird taste off them or anything like that. Not that you're gonna be eating them, but you know what I mean. Some lip products tend to have a weird taste. These, as far as I know, are retailing at $4.99 on um from Superdrug. 
I assume they're the same on the Sleep website, but I'll leave the links below to the website anyhow, so you can go and check them out there. Um, I know that's um, in Superdrug, you could you were able to get them on a three for two offer. Not sure if that's still going ahead, but it's worth checking out if you are close to a Superdrug. That's pretty much it. So pros, there's like 11 shades, I think, to choose from. So you can make a multitude of colors. Um, they would be absolutely brilliant for the kit. And they're only 4 .99. You get how much product? eight milliliters of product but you need so little of this for it to work that it will last you for ages anyhow absolutely amazing for a professional kit like you could use the colors neat as they are if you wanted those primary color looks or you could just mix them up or whatever so you're never going to be like without any color pretty much the smell is divine the only thing i would say con wise would be um the lips tend to bleed a little bit after you know a good few hours wear but after about three or four hours so what i do to combat that like i said i use my lip primer by mac but it's good to have concealer as well maybe in your makeup bag so that you can just run around the edge of your lipstick with or your lips lip line sorry with concealer and a little brush to take away any of those little um sneaky lines that come in from bleeding but in the meantime yeah that was my sleek pout paint um review i think they're definitely worth it so if you can get your hands on them go for it and um, they're really really fun little product and um i think they're great so thanks a million for watching guys see you all really soon it's done.